Hello, welcome to Comic Con Midlands. We are here at the Telford International Centre in the Midlands, not Wales. Uh, it's very, very quiet. Um, quite a good variety of guests, guests we've not seen before. And it's a really chilled con. I only decided I was coming yesterday, so very, very cool. Nice to be back at a con. Mark's got a few bits done. Tell's going to get Ella Purnell shortly, and I might try and get something for an event that will be mentioned towards the end of the video. Uh, if you'd like to win this comic, please like and subscribe and leave a comment and you could be in a chance of winning. I'll give that away to someone within the next week or two. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Uh, oh, <laughs> hello Geezer, <laughs> see you in a bit. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it's half past eleven, and we're back with Scranet or Bannet Comic Con Munch. Yeah, second breakfast. Um, it's a very strange con, so we have decided to go get some food. Unfortunately, it is impossible to do a pint test as there is no bar. There is about six Brewdog cans. It is also the morning, and I'm driving home, so it'll be a no-go for me. But luckily, there is no options um, for food. Then we've got a a burger, no cheese. Look how sad that looks. And chips. And I've just noticed before I even start this, the chips are getting a zero because look at that uh, hair all over it. And I know it's not cheese because they don't do any. Look at the state of that. <laughs> That's disgraceful behavior. And so, um, yeah, the chips get a zero before I start because I, um, I cannot give a score for hair all over it. It's disgraceful. <laughs> That one tastes all right. Oh, just as we're walking past, there is a ghoul cosplay over there that looks very, very cool. Cool ghoul. Um, let's get into the uh, Elberger then. That is a 1.3 out of 10. That is disgraceful. That's, all. That's not good. It's not good news. And that is the only food available. That or a hot dog that looks like it's come out of a petrol station. So... Uh, yeah, I don't want to sound negative, but food-wise it's not very good, especially compared to Aberdeen. Um, but yeah, venue's very good. Con is very quiet. Food is not good news. Back to you in the studio, Bosh. Not even original, right? I had to say that, not say Nottingham like an American. Nottingham. So uh, tell me what it was like growing up in You've got to say like Nottingham. Nottingham. That's how you say it. Yeah, yeah I'm getting into the love it, being educated here. <laughs> what was it like growing up there and then, of course, getting into the world of acting from that town? Um, my sister's actually here tonight. She could probably tell me what it was like. Hey, sis. Um, yeah, yeah, it's great. I love that city and um, it's really nice to go back. I haven't lived there for a long time. But, um, yeah, I... I, I... It's got something. <laughs> They did say on their socials to not bring car, bring cat. Oh, shut up, you car. <laughs> Welcome. 
Thank you so much for being here at Comic Con Midlands, our first time ever in Telford. You've been signing autographs, taking photos, and meeting your adoring fans all day. How's it been going for you? It's been good. This is my first ever Comic Con. Wow! Uh, yeah. Yay! Yeah. It's been great. I've had a really great time meeting everyone. It is sensory overload, though. Two final questions here. How are you? I fell, I fell down the stairs and I gave myself a black eye. Someone randomly told me that and I was like, what? It's terrible. It also, I went to the doctors and they were like, you probably have a like, concussion. And then I went to work the next day and did a full day. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to have a talk. Because first you're bursting your appendix and you're flying around. Then you've got the eye thing. Oh my gosh. No, but to be fair, they were like eight years apart. So, sure. it's fine. You were doing another injury in Britain project. What a badass. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Sorry, it's a very good term. It's a mountain. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, you know, people always choose really serious movies, and I always feel really embarrassed because mine aren't like cool enough or like, I don't know, serious enough. Here we go. Lilo and Stitch. I love that film. Thank you for the support. I needed that. I needed that confident boost. I love the film Juno, actually. I really love that film. Um, I love all of them. This is really the right crowd. <laughs> you could say flubber, and they're like, yes! Flubber! Um, okay, I've got two more, actually. I'm so sorry, I'm cheating. Um, one of them is Beast of the Southern Wild. That is a serious film, but I... It, the film just... I watch it a lot, and it makes me cry all the time. And also, um, a film called Room. It could be The Room. With, um... Not Brie Larson. Is it Brie I think it's Brie Larson. Thank like, you. Yeah. Um, she's incredible. That film is amazing. I love that film. You could say she's marvelous. And hey. okay. Stop. Top five. Um, Happy with that? Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much. Our final question. Hello, I am back from Midlands Comic Con. I thought I'd quickly show you what I picked up as I couldn't really show you in the venue. Couldn't record any guests, I was asked not to. And yeah, that's fair enough. If you're asked not to record, you can't record. It is what it is. So I thought I'd just go through briefly what I picked up today. Um, no Lego, I'm afraid. No minifigures. There was nothing I was really keen on. There was quite a lot of like Lord of the Rings and Hobbit stuff that were cool, but I'm going to save it for Comic Con Wells when Sean Astin's there and I can pick up a little Samwise. But there was no, um, there was nothing from Fallout and there was nothing from Game of Thrones, which is on the topic of stuff I picked up. So one thing I was really looking for today, I was looking for like a really nice poster because I'm into my posters recently. I've got a lovely. Return of the King behind and I've got a nice map of Midlife there which I'm planning on getting signed and I've been thinking about getting posters signed because as you can see the more pops you get signed the less room you've got and I feel wrong not displaying stuff I've got signed it just feels like they're taking the mick a little bit so I thought if I can get posters signed I can have posters about and then when I chop and change or a series is out I can do it anyway long story short so I bought four posters for 10 quid A3s which I think is brilliant £2.50 each for a poster, amazing. Usually cons are like priced up a little bit because people got to make money, they're vendors. It's understandable. But these were dirt, dirt cheap. Um, first poster I picked up, which I absolutely love, is this Lost poster. Those of you who are not new to the channel will know that I love Lost. It's one of my favorite series ever. Uh, it's where I was first really introduced to, Dom to Dominic Monaghan, where I could remember him before I rewatched Lord of the Rings because I was very young when it came out. Um, and I absolutely love this poster, it's brilliant, so really cool to get cast sign-ins in and here above their characters maybe, that'd be really cool. Yeah, love Lost, it's why I've grown my hair long because I re-watched it last year and every time I re-watch Lost I'm like, I'd love hair like Desmond's <laughs> every time and I think it's going alright. Anyway, alright, that's my last poster. The next poster I got is this Ahsoka poster, it's really really cool, looks really slick. Um, I shouldn't really have bought it because it makes me want to go to Star Fury, but I will probably not be going to Star Fury because Moolah, but I really like this poster. I think it looked really, really cool, really sleek. There's a few Ahsokas, but I think this is probably my favorite one. So that's my second poster pickup. Now into the big hitters. Um, I got this really, really cool poster. It was the first one I saw that made me want to buy one. Um, 
and seeing as there was a man as so I was tempted to get a pop signed at Comic Con Midlands and I stopped myself from buying the pop um, I bought this Game of Thrones poster and I think it's wicked from the last season but I really like the artwork it's got all of the characters uh, and they're all dead sort of like envisioning the uh, the long night that's really cool and I've got my first autograph on it and I got uh, Thor who plays the mountain in a gold uh, sharpie really weird not getting a paint pen just a sharpie but it's so sick I actually love his autograph it looks slicker not on a pop I think because he was saying during the signing um, Mark was in front of me from RM Collectibles and he struggled to hold the pens and not his hand he shook he put his hand up shaped mine I have small hands anyway but his hand was like three times the size of mine yeah I felt like a very very sorry excuse <laughs> for a man meeting him. He was absolutely lovely as well, asking me questions, um, stuff like that. He was just really, really polite, really nice guy. And he didn't get in until really late or really early in the morning because he had to fly into London and was traveling. We were in the pub at midnight last night. Yeah. And uh, he was traveling from London at midnight and he was one of the earliest ones to the con this morning. So fair play to him. Love the autograph and a lovely start to life's Game of Thrones poster. I love it. What do you think about Osh? My last poster, um, I, I'm denied about picking this poster up for ages, but I think it just looks so, so good that I had to pick it up as one of my four. And that also inspired me to go and get it signed. Uh, so I've got this lovely fallout poster. And as you know from the footage, the headliner today was Ella Purnell. So Ella Purnell has signed it in the corner and put Lucy McLean in the bottom which is really, really cool. She was really nice. Um, it was her first con ever, as you can see from the footage from the panel. She was very, very nice. Tao asked her a question. Um, yeah, really down to earth and really cool. I've been in some really big projects already, such a young age, and it was really cool to be at her first Comic Con. And uh, yeah, um, I've seen a lot of people kicking off about the auto because it literally is basically EP, but it's her first con. She's not used to it and she was very, very busy. So. I'm really happy to add it to the collection. It's a lovely poster. I think the ghoul looks fantastic. It's just really, really cool. Nice light day, very nice for the summer. Lovely news. They are my pickups. Let me know which you, what you liked, what you didn't like. Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, one more thing. As you saw from the intro, I'm giving away this. So all you've got to do is like, sub, and comment down below what your favorite of the pickups were and you'll be in a chance within a chance to win this bad boy i'll send it out to anybody so yeah also before i go got an exciting announcement i am organizing a football charity match um will probably be in september maybe october so keep your eyes peeled for that i will be giving away a signed item i'm not saying what it is yet uh, for everybody that buys a ticket so keep your eyes peeled for that one it's gonna be a really good really good cause um, the football match is called Kick for a Cause. So keep your eyes peeled and I'll be posting all over my socials so make sure you're up to date. Yeah, that's it from me. Thank you very much. Cue the outro. A barge. It's coming to the end of the day here at Comic Con Midlands. We've managed to get loads done. We have met Thor from Game of Thrones, which is wicked. The biggest hands I've ever seen in my life. Minus small anyway, but I thought he was going to crush me. Lovely man though, absolute gent. And we've met Ella Purnell, which is really cool. Just been to a panel and it was her first Comic Con appearance. Now, I've just been home from Scotland and I'm off again. I'll catch you later. Ta da! <laughs>